coming for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah. Uh, my name is Terry White, and on the other end of the panel is uh, Ann Foley, and we've spent the past two years working on a book. So uh, we found out a lot about what it like to what's like to live in the county a few years ago. And uh, Warren says I can't start with him, <laughs> but I might. Um, you want to start? Introducing them here. Yeah, we've got Warren Saunders, Smitty Rue, Mary Cameron, Junior Foxell, and Herschel Johnson. And they are tradition bearers. They know the story of the county. And they all had some pretty nifty adventures in their lives. So, I'd like to start out with asking you each comment or to tell a little story about going to school, where you went to school, how long you went to school, and uh, just that general kind of information. I'm asking you, <laughs> and when you're done, we'll get Smitty to talk and then Miss Mary. Well, I went to Rock in the elementary school, and then I was in the first class and started in the garbage. I'm just a little teeny boy, and all these people were standing up. Well, I couldn't see anything. Aww. <laughs> and you're standing there looking all around, and my father t put me on his shoulder and told me who that man was up there on that boat, on the uh, Sequoia. And anyhow, President Roosevelt had a light beige suit on, and everybody else was dressed in, in dark clothes, so you could pick him out. And my father would say, now, you, do you know who that is? Most of mine was being a rascal, I guess. My mother, my mother said, "I was." You think it's boys that have the reputation for being rascal, but I was such a mischievous little thing. She named me Golden Heart, and you know that's what she always called me, Golden until I was married and then she cut it short and called me Mary Golden. But it was because I was always doing... Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I could take a couple hours if you like. Uh, I don't think they're going to give us a couple hours. I'll, I'll make but... it real brief. I'll just tell you about the school and stuff. I went to school on Ayers Island. It was a one room, one room, well, actually two rooms, but only one room was a school. The back room was a cloak room and a water bucket. And there was about 25 or 30 kids, I guess, and one teacher. She taught all seven well, grades. Um, I, I started school in 1946. And where we lived, uh, my grandfather had a farm. And we lived uh, right on the line. If you, if you go through the branch, you would go to Vienna School. If you, if you, where we lived, we went to Eastern Market School. So either my best friend, he went to Vienna, and I went to Eastern Market. And uh, we had a uh, two-room school. There were two teachers. You mentioned the story about that part of your working life. I didn't work in the cameras, but my grandmother and father, they used to walk from Ravendale to Elder Raver to the Cannon House, and they used to get tomatoes for, for 10 cents a bucket, a bucket for a dog to do agate. And I guess the bucket came around somebody like chicken dinner, chicken ice, and I think we'll have a good time. I know Warren will. Well. Okay. Okay. Girls, all the way, all together. Plenty of time. Sweet and warm. Everybody fast through.
the mark that would be most popular. Okay, so you want to be, you want to be, it's please everybody in the room. In general, right. That if you were, if you were making, I don't know how I could Hi, sweetie. Well, that's a fruit stand. And our kids nowadays are, are on video games. They have like no that. idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, everything mm -hmm. about them. And I, I really, what you do is uh, you get a parent stuff like that. Like, 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 inch inch and a half stiff. My two favorite carvers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There you go. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Billy Roden from Vienna, Maryland. Hi, I'm Debbie Weber from below Cambridge in Hudson. <laughs> Cut the eyes off the apron, I'll do that later. Clean the guts out, and then I'll put your back shell. Well, she's already had me, you're gonna win. Cut the knuckle. Somebody's calling me. Cut the top half of the back shell. I don't have a crab knife, so it's not real easy. Religious. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't use the knife for this, I just tear them in half. And there you get the back fin. Find all the bones. Yeah, no. Please don't check me for bones. Amen to that. Hi, I'm Renee. And your name? Yeah, I went to school. 
Skidman. Hello, I'm Frank Bittner, and we're here today as part of Maryland Traditions. And what I am doing, if you watch too much television, you'll know this from the home garden. Network is being faux finishing, but in actuality, when I was growing up, we knew it as stain graining or wood graining back in the Painting your door, whether it be old wood that you can't restore, refinish, a steel door, fiberglass door, really anything. A base color, decide what you want to wind up with, whether it be oak. And when that dries, it's the second layer of stain. And all we're doing is wiping off in a certain pattern. This I'm doing on glass because that's normally what I teach people. We're applying the finishes onto fiberglass boats. These are two sterns, mahogany and teak. Um, the process is pretty much the same. The technique is a little different. And the clear coat is a very special clear coat that enables it to hold up. This has been in the water now five years and looks very good. It's been beautiful. And there, well, 18 teams. 